We are taking your fall favorite dinner staple and going vertical, layering up the flavor and the fun. This chili and cornbread parfait will be the talk of your next party. Chris and Andres is here to prove chili doesn't have to be boring. Trust you and your brilliant foodie mind to come up with something like this. How fun. <laughs> I know. I don't even really know where this came from. But we're so used to chili in a bowl, right? Cornbread on the side. Yes. And to me, that combination is just timeless. It's delicious. I love it so much. It's comfort. It's comfort, yeah. but it also can be healthy. I think you think of chili as heavy, but I'll show you that it doesn't have to be. It can be super light as well. And like you said, I love how you said going vertical because I thought, what if we layer it and we do a layer of cornbread? You know, you just cut up some cornbread, put the chili, cornbread, and then you take a spoon and eat it like it's a parfait. Great. It's great. Oh my gosh. It's okay, so, so good. the assembly came from your brilliant brain. I'll give you that credit. Absolutely. But there's some family, I know, ties to this yes. particular recipe. Yes. So my darling grandmother, Eloise, who happens to be here in the is studio here. today. here. She is here watching. We're so happy. <laughs> she is a big Studio 5 fan. <gasps> We're a fan of hers. She I'm watches every day. She's 97. She's amazing. She's got more energy than I do. Does Kristen feed you often, Eloise? I hope so. Yes? Okay, good. Good, yes. good, good. Yes. So she inspired this. So, yeah. So she has a great chili recipe, but hers takes so long, right? And so I kind of adapted her chili recipe and made it my own, which is kind of what I do. Yes, and I'll yes. show you a couple different instances of what we can do. For instance, she's soaking her beans overnight because as she said, when she was cooking for her family, they didn't have canned beans right. and things like that. And so we are so lucky that we have all these easy and fresh ways to, you know, to make things and then make it a little bit different, right? Sure. So you're having friends over for a football game, which is all we're doing now on the weekends. Yeah. I feel like Friday nights, Saturdays are football mania. And so this is such a fun thing that you can do. And just once again, conversation piece, rather than just a bowl of chili, making it a little bit different. Show us how to pull it off. Okay, so for my chili, once again, I talked about how you can make this totally your own, whatever you have around the house. So much of this does not have to be fresh, um, but you can use ground chicken or ground chili, which uh -huh. really you know can bring the fat down so it's not. Um, lean hamburger, if you're really into the hamburger chili, you can do extra lean, which I think is still awesome. The way to go. Yep, onions, um, peppers, and as you know, there's so much stuff out there that's actually already pre-chopped, Yes. which I love. We, I, I appreciate you give us full permission. Oh, Green absolutely, and actually, I never buy garlic like that. I use like the frozen garlic from Trader Joe's, especially in chili where it's going to be cooking for hours and hours I give you complete permission to do that okay I add things like mushrooms I'll put in some rotel tomatoes just to add a little bit of spice mm -hmm. um, you know obviously to me canned beans is definitely the way to go sure. a little bit of cumin which you know makes it a little bit different tomato paste so it's kind of your basic chili recipe and then I just let it sit for hours and hours and hours okay so I'll make it in the morning or midday and then you just and I add a lot of liquid so I'll do a lot of you know beef stock um a lot of tomato juice a lot of things like that and I just let it condense and so to me all of the flavor and it becomes so rich because you let it condense the other thing I am obsessed with and I only cook with is a cast iron skillet. Really? So you'll notice my chili, absolutely. It just, once again, it kind of takes you back to that old school right. way, right? When it used to be on the fire and things like that. But I, cooking in cast iron to me just makes it so much, I don't know, I love the depth of flavor. I love how it cooks. I just, I love it. And then I okay. did it for my cornbread as well. Let's move to the cornbread. This so is the second part of So you guys, the recipe. cornbread looks oh, amazing. Okay, this is not healthy. <laughs> Embrace it. This is Embrace like it. the indulgent, but it is honestly the best cornbread you'll ever have in Tell your me, life. Tell me, because I'm a sucker so for So you have cornbread. cornbread that's kind of flaky, and that would be hard for like a cornbread parfait like this because it would kind of break apart. So this one is super rich. It's dense. It's almost like... A, like almost cake-like. So this is a take on the Banderas. There's a, um, a, a restaurant called Banderas. And so this is a copycat version of theirs. And so I, I do it in a cast iron skillet, which Again, you're supposed okay. to, and it just cooks really, really nicely like that. You can tell um, it's just moist and Right, yummy. and normally I'll do a little bit thicker than this, but if you look at it, it's like, it's not really breaking apart. That's a cake. It is a cake. Yes. And it is so good, especially with the chili, which has that salty. And then this is a little bit sweeter. So what makes it different? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't, 
different than box cornbread. So you're adding um, cream corn, okay. which I love. You're adding these um, green chilies. Uh -huh. You have cornmeal, but that's not like a huge, it's not all cornmeal, okay. which is what makes it a little bit more grainy. Flour, sugar, there's quite a bit of sugar, quite a bit of butter, eggs. She says that with a smile. Right? That's not and her so, normal Kristen go -to. And then a lot of cheddar cheese and Monterey oh, Jack cheese. cheese. And a, yes, there's quite a bit of cheese in it oh. with the peppers. And so you get, but it also has a savory and sweet. It's, it's quite sweet. I can sweet. tell you kind of like it. I, <laughs> love it. I love it. It is, and you know what? You can freeze it. You can make nice. a bunch and freeze it. It's awesome. Okay, and then we stack it up? Yeah, and then we stack it up. Um, and so I do want to make sure we have time to get to the very end. You know what? I'll use this. So literally, we would take this and people okay. could do this at a party or on a Monday night for dinner, right? Sure, to make it fun. To make it fun and your kids can add what toppings they like and then I'd put some cornbread in and then I would add I just think sorry, this is so clever. a little so bit clever. more chili. And so in your flair and style. I this know, hostess totally, of the most right? yeah. And then you add your toppings and you could have a whole array of toppings. You could add you know, cheese, cilantro, okay. um, guacamole, salsa. Love it. Anything like that. And then that. just pile it on with whatever toppings yes. fit your yes. fancy. Yes. Hello, so good. tailgating extraordinaire. I know. And then can I finish real quick with Please. this? Yeah. Okay. So totally opposite of Grandma Eloise's chili is you are like running to soccer, you're getting home, you're like, what do we do? And you have some cornbread in the freezer. This is all you have. You don't have time for hours and hours of chili cooking. Uh -huh. So I've looked up some of the best canned chilies out there. This okay. Amy's Organic is definitely number one. Up there. And what you can do is you put that in your saute pan, your cast iron skillet, and then you add fresh onions, fr you know, some, some frozen garlic, and then you kind of make it a little bit of a homemade touch. And the, also the other thing is add a little bit of liquid and okay. let it sit for a while so that it condenses and it tastes a little bit more homemade than right out of the can. It becomes that semi-homemade approach. Exactly, exactly. Kristen, thank you so much. Yes, Kristen is welcome. always sharing great food recommendations, great workouts you can try at home, and of course peek into her lovely family life. Where can we connect with you? Yep, on Kristen Andrus on Instagram. Look for the link on our website too. Thank you, my friend. Delicious. Yes, Kristen has you. graciously shared both of these recipes. I should say Grandma Eloise has as well with you on our website, studio5.ksl.com. Just click there on the recipe tab at the top of your screen and right now that recipe page is filling up with just this type of food tailgating appropriate party appropriate comfort food all over the place so be sure to make that bookmark that as your go-to dinner source too